Welcome to my professional room. Trust me, I'm a pilot. My name is Akshay and I'm going to take a journey or become a commercial pilot from a student pilot. A lot of people have started asking me that oh, how should I become pilot after 12th? Oh, I'm an engineer, I'm a doctor. What are the steps I should take to become a pilot? So today I'm here to tell you the most quickest and the efficient way of becoming a commercial pilot. So make sure to watch this video till the end so you don't miss out on any important steps. DEC Class 2 Medical At the age of 16, you are eligible for Class 2 Medical and it is the first and the most basic step of becoming a pilot. And without this, you won't be issued SPL which is Student Pilot License and FRTL which is Flight Radio Telephone Operator License. Step 2 DGC Class 1 Medical It is the second step of becoming a pilot. At the age of 17 years, you are eligible for Class 1 Medical. I suggest you get it done before you start flying as sometimes it happens that you are able to clear class 2 medical but fail in class 1 medical. So you have already invested a lot of money on your training so it does not go to waste. I have already made a video in which I have explained everything about DGC class 1 and class 2 medicals. You can go and check it out, link is in the description. It's a very helpful video. Step 3. SPL and FRTOL. SPL stands for Student Pilot License and FRTO stands for Flight Radio Telephone Operators License. These two licenses are mandatory before you join a flying school. I have also made a video about this in which I have explained all about different types of licenses. You can find the link in the description below. Step 4. Apply for computer number. As soon as your 12th results are declared and you are 18 years of age, you can apply for computer number. It is just like your roll number for your entire career. You won't be allowed to sit or appear in the DGC exams if you don't have computer number. I'll also be making a detailed video about computer number, so make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay updated. Step 5. Passing the DGC exams. In order to obtain license, you need to pass 6 different kinds of exams. First, Metrology, Second, Air Regulation, Third, Navigation, Fourth, Technical General, Fifth, Technical Specific, and the last, RTR. I have also made a video in which I recommended the books which will help you to pass these exams. Step 6. Training You need to have a total of 200 hours of training in single engine and multi-engine. You need to have 185 hours on single engine and 15 hours on multi-engine. And you also need to have training on simulators of single engine and multi-engine. You need to have 20 hours on single and 20 hours on multi. Any doubts you can write in the comment section down below or you can DM. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the like button. Thanks for watching.